back in May. I did not realize you could have four forms, so I apologize. <laughs> I will try to get with the other people who did the other three and work with them so the politicians were the candidates don't have somebody to go to next fall for the next election. I would like to thank all the AAEW members who stood up to the plate and laid out the bad news of my dad was passed. I said it would be cry. And they came down with what I needed to do. So thank you. I want to thank Jim Peterson. He always does our forms for us. He does a good job. I'd also like to thank Lillard Gassers, who is over here the corner, and Sherry, who I have to be my Republican. <laughs> for going over the count the questions we had and making sure that they were civil and able to be handed off to Jim so that they could be asked of our candidates. We also have some community members that have come to volunteer. Some of them at the last minute, they were asked about fun. You know, you need more people to help, you know, take the questions and all that. And I'd also like to thank Terry, who um, I worked with to um, reserve this um, place so that we could have this um, form, the fourth one, the final one, okay? If you have not voted yet, early voting is still going on. You got until October 26th to go at the elections office from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. On um, Saturday, you can vote from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then there are extended hours after Saturday from October 29th to November 2nd from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. at the elections office. And the address is on the screen if you don't know where it's at. If you're not sure where you should vote, or if you want to look at your ballot before you go into the, to do your voting, go to the My Voter page. There's a link right there, and you can fill in your name or your first initial and some other information and get the information that you need so that you know who is running for office in your area and you can then make an educated vote. 